The Bighorns are loading up the bus and getting ready to hit the road once again to Gillette, this time to play the final two games of the regular season series between them. The team has traveled nearly 5,000 miles to Wyoming and South Dakota just this season. Helena and Gillette are expected to play each other in the postseason, most likely in the Frontier Division Championship. Helena's chances of claiming home ice advantage over Gillette greatly depends on taking these two games this weekend. I'm Harlan Watusik. I'm a forward from Rhinelander, Wisconsin. Uh, I mean, we there are a lot of things we got to work on. I mean, everybody knows that, but we just got to we got to bury pucks. That's what it comes down to. We we have the offensive players, we have the defensive players. Our goalies obviously are going to do their job. We just got to bury pucks and score goals. I think that's what we really got to do the most of. Liam Bland, forward, and I'm from Spokane, Washington. As our season's gone on, our success as a team has stayed there, and we've stayed really focused, and everyone really wants to win that Frazier Championship and the division. So I'm really happy with the group of guys we got and our goals that we're setting. Friday night's game begins with the Bighorns putting pressure on the Wild. Tyler Bloom scores his 16th goal of the season, giving Helena the early lead. It only took 20 more seconds for that lead to double thanks to a Corbin Skinner's shot. Helena plays a tight defensive game and doesn't allow many shots on goal. Eric Buckholtz turned aside every scoring chance the Wild could get. TJ Norris netted Helena's third goal of the period as the Big Horns go into the locker room a confident group. The script seems to have flipped as the second period moves along. The Wild are getting more scoring chances. Logan Dadinsky scores on a five-on-three power play for the Wild. <laughs> Gillette increases the physicality of the game, and Helena finds itself in the penalty box more often than not. The Wilds score on another power play midway through the frame. The second period ends with a tie on the scoreboard, as the Bighorns played only eight minutes of the 20-minute frame five-on-five. The message from the Helena coaching staff to the players was made clear heading into the third period. Stay out of the penalty box. Hey, let's remember this moment right here. Hey, don't stop until that one goes. Don't stop. Keep those feet moving. Shoot the puck. Hey, our 20 boys. Let's go, men. The Bighorns continue to generate some offense, but Jake Turek stands strong in net. A turning point comes just over halfway through the third. Adam Harvey finds himself attacked against the boards. Harvey does not retaliate, and the Wild are penalized, putting the Bighorns on a power play. Harvey serves up justice for the incident by scoring the go-ahead goal, giving Helena the lead and momentum to try to finish this game on top. The final minutes of the third brings out resiliency from the Bighorns, who kept the Wild trapped in their zone for the next several minutes. Gillette kills off a late period penalty and pulls Turek for the extra man to try and score the tying goal but it wouldn't be in the cards for the Wild tonight. The Bighorns are now one win away from winning the season series. Now, if we stay out of the box, that's a 4-0 game, right? Keep our 
heads, come back and do it again tomorrow. Harvey's one of those guys that as the season's gone on, he's stepped up in the locker room and been a really big leader. He scored a lot of big goals and just the, the self-control to not you know, take a penalty once that guy starts beating into him and know the situation in the game was really smart of him and it, he deserved to get that goal and he did. It felt good I and mean, I, I know it felt good for him too. It, it was awesome seeing that because uh, there, there's a lot of kids that they would have retaliated, thrown a punch at that guy, but uh, Steve's probably one of the smartest guys we got here. He, he knew what we had to do and he went out there and made him pay for it. So it was, it was pretty cool to see that. Spirit Hall Ice Arena hosted a full capacity crowd on Saturday night, and it didn't take long for these teams to start playing with that playoff style intensity. The Bighorns are on the board first again tonight as Gavin Galloway puts a backhanded shot past goaltender Jake Turek. And, as shown in the previous five meetings between them, the game's physicality comes to forefront. Gillette's Brock Terboyevich ties the game. The opening frame sees some back and forth and more special teams time for the Bighorns. Way to drive, Gibble. Way to drive. I, I... The period ends. Still tied at one goal apiece. Get that focus going. Been working good shape here. Working good shape. Got our legs back under. So we got one garbage goal. This is our hockey game to win. We got 40 minutes. It's a tough sled. Man up. 40 minutes. Here we go. Come on, boys. Oh, Helena would get a power play chance of their own in the second period, but could not find the back of the net. Gavin Galloway asserts himself as a physical presence in this period cleanly finishing his body checks and pushing the pace offensively for the Bighorns. Former college tennis player Adam Harvey that beats Turek with a unique backhand to take the lead in the second. a two to one lead heading into the second intermission. Hey, good first two periods, okay? This third period has to be the best period of the weekend, okay? The best period of the weekend, okay? Get shots on net. We can't sit back on our heels and hope we win the hockey game, okay? Stay on your toes, do all the little things, and we'll be fine, Tom. We'll be fine. The third period labors on as a physical, fast, and intense period of play. Each team takes their chances, and each goaltender is locked in, meeting every shot head on. This final frame is full on playoff hockey, and the tension continues to rise. game and sweep the weekend, but Gillette isn't going away. In the final moments of the third, 
the Wild pulled Turek for an extra attacker, and Declan Young tucks one behind Buckholz to tie the game, much to the delight of the 1,300 in attendance. Overtime brings more pressure into the game. Harvey, Sally. The winner of this contest wins the season series and home ice advantage. But as he had all night long, Gavin Galloway asserted himself yet again, scoring the game-winning goal and clinching the season series against Gillette. Yeah, we saw Gav, he was, he was getting ready for the game. We knew he was going to get out there and have a big one. So the boys just kind of had his back there. We let him do his thing, hyped him up when we needed to. And it was, it was really cool to see him go out there and have that game. It was, he, he definitely needed it. And it was, it was awesome to see him get the game winner, especially the way he did. The Bighorns have just a handful of games left in the regular season including three games against longtime rival Great Falls Americans, the only other team to hand Helena a loss this year. Helena will need to win out all of these games in order to secure home ice advantage in the playoffs. While the players aren't looking too far ahead into the future, the organization is making plans for the playoffs. Our expectations are to win every game, I hope. You know, I, I know that everyone's going to go in with a different mentality than it was in the regular season because it's going to be that much harder to win games, whether it's on the road or at home. And no matter how successful we were in the regular season, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so this year we'll be going into a format that I wasn't familiar with last year. So the top two seeds in the division will get a bye for the first round. So the three will play the sixth seed and the four will play the five in a best of three series. The two winners from that move on and then we'll play the lowest seed um, of whoever wins. Beyond the Bench will return with a recap of the first playoff series in March.